today in the grain market, soybeans were mixed. That uncertainty uh, in the Middle East uh, cast a little bit of a bearish shadow on all the markets right now, along with today being a bank holiday, uh, has the markets just a little bit uh, choppy today. Uh, I think that the futures are still holding at their lows. Uh, today, soybeans did have a 19 cent range and managed to come back to close up a little over a penny. Option open interest didn't really offer much, but the sea vols at 18.2% with the soybean oil at 293 and the meal at 24.7. Now corn was a little bit lower. That increase in China's uh, crop estimate, I think, uh, put a little pressure on the market. We did have a higher start, but then it did turn lower. Traders seem to be setting their positions for the USDA report coming on Thursday. And the futures are remaining in that same channel we've had since August. Uh, the C vol right now is at 21.5%, but we did add 3,100 puts to the December contract. So uh, there still is uh, more puts than calls uh, right now, but the market is still holding near their lows. Now, wheat today was a little bit higher. That smaller crop estimate from Australia might have given it a little bit of a boost. The Kansas City and Minneapolis both both were up uh, double digits uh, uh, today. Uh, that being said, it seems like the, the market could be reacting a little bit to the geopolitical issues. Uh, but we has had, you know, was sitting at a two year low. So it uh, really was gaining a little bit of support coming up. Uh, not much in the options uh, added about a thousand calls. Um, that shows a little bit of strength and still the higher open interest on the six dollar and seven dollar strike is still there. So uh, who knows between uh, now and expiration. But Seaval for wheat is at 37 uh, percent. The grains I expect to be choppy all this week up until the report on Thursday.